Emily Atkins had just parked in the driveway of her home in Melbourne's northeast after a trip to the local shops with her two-year-old daughter Sylvie, and a carload of shopping bags, in tow. It was a warm summer's morning in Heidelberg North. The temperature was set to climb above 30 degrees that day, but at 10.30 and hadn't reached its top yet. As Emily told Mama Mia she had one of those cars that allowed her to lock the car before she closed all the doors and she would use this to her advantage to lock the car and slip it in her bag before getting out and have both hands free for carrying in bags. That day though, this technology would work against her. Listen, there's also a risk bigger kids will drive off if left with the keys, as these parents found out. Post continues, just without thinking, being octopus arms, and trying to get all the shopping and the kid, out of the car, I chucked my keys on the seat of the car shut the door and then the car auto locked with the keys inside. She was in the car and so were my keys and I just thought oh my goodness, this could go really, really wrong. It was pretty terrifying just to have that realization of how quickly it could happen and how easily. Thankfully, Emily's husband had only just left for work and was able to turn around and open the door and let her out within 10 minutes. Otherwise I would have been in a situation where I had to call the rack or even the SES to get her out, the mum of two said. I was lucky that I had my handbag out, so I did have my phone. If I didn't have a phone I would have to have gone and found a neighbour and left her alone in the car. It was panic station. Unfortunately, it's a nightmare scenario thousands of Australian parents face every year. In Victoria in 2017 alone, the Royal Automobile Club of Victoria's roadside assistant answered 1150 calls out to rescue young children locked in vehicles. This works out to an average of four incidents per day. According to the RAC, most of these cases were accidental, and that developments in locking technology mean it's a mistake becoming increasingly easy to make. That's why they are putting out a timely warning to parents on the risks of locking their kids in cars on hot days. Rack Road User Behaviour Manager Melinda Spiteri said the dangers of children left unattended in cars on hot days was very real. Research has shown that younger children are more sensitive to heat than older children and adults, as their body temperatures rise five times faster than an older child, she said. This means they are at high risk of dehydration and heat stroke when trapped in a hot car. Knowing the dangers vehicle lock-ins pose to young children, Rack treats call-outs of this nature as urgent. However, drivers should be aware that the few minutes it can take for a patrol to reach the scene can make all the difference in extreme temperatures. Melinda advised parents against giving their children keys to play with, and suggested keeping your keys on.